G'day, here we are again with another do-it-yourself. This time it's probably not as much do-it-yourself as you might think. Have you ever been somewhere and you go for a drive or whatever you, and you think, just do, do with a coffee, I really want to have a coffee. But all you got is like service station coffees or the really expensive rubbishy stuff. And you think, well, I, just, I just want a coffee, just give me a normal coffee. Well, we actually do have a solution. Some bright spark somewhere around the world has come up with the idea of coffee in a can. Now we all know you can buy coffee from the supermarkets in a can and it's like made on milk and that, that's fine. There's little tiny things. But this heats itself. Okay, so I guess it was bought from supermarkets, so we'll see how we go. Okay, so it says here on the back it's got a three-step program. First we need to shake well. The can I assume, not myself. Shake it really well. A bit of energy required. Maybe I should have had a coffee before doing this. Ah, we need to turn it upside down and pull off the metal tamper-proof bottom. So it's just a bit of a ring pull. Excellent. So from there, we place on the flat surface and push down on that bit in the middle there. Okay, here we go. Firmly down. Okay, and the green water has drained. Wait about 10 seconds, and we turn it back up again. Simple. At this stage now, we've got a little pink spot. It's pink at the moment. When that changes to white, the beverage is hot. Once it's hot, we twist the lid on the top, pull another ring pull, and we'll have a drink. So I'll see you in about somewhere between five and eight minutes. Okay, so it's been about five, six minutes, and the little pink spot here has turned pretty well white, and I can feel a lot of heat up the top. Now, I'm assuming it's going to be really hot inside, so I'm not going to go slurping into it straight away. Um, especially if the burns unit is more than a five minute drive. So it says on the instructions here, to twist the lid to align the openings, shake the can, open it and have a drink. So let's have a look. Okay, so we've aligned it. Give it a shake. That's hot. <laughs> Actually, that is just perfect. I, I assumed it was going to be really hot. I was just going to be very careful. That is absolutely delicious. That's a really nice cuppa actually. That tastes like a middle of the road latte I'd say. Now there's a few things about these drinks that we really need to be aware of. Firstly, when you're taking the ring off the bottom, that's what the ring pull looks like. But the ring itself is attached by really thin flimsy metal. And it's very easy, as we did with one of our tries, to just pull the ring straight off. Okay, now that makes it really difficult then to actually get in and pull the rest of the ring off because what we have here is the plastic and you could easily, if you're using a tool to open the, get the ring off, you could easily puncture that bladder. A couple of other things, it says do not pour out and drink out of something else. So I'm assuming, now that I know what temperature that's at, I'm assuming it says don't pour it out because it'll probably go cold. So. It's only just at just enough temperature to be, to be warm. Uh, another thing is you can't add sugar to it. Uh, I usually like quite a few sugars in my coffees and that's actually sweet enough. So um, a few other things, you've got to be careful with the temperature, the outside temperature of when you open it. This is if it's 32 degrees Celsius, then cool it down and then open it. Obviously it's like, um, like your Tectic fridge, it actually changes the core temperature a certain number of degrees 
So if the ambient temperature is 25 degrees Celsius, it might change that to say 40. If the outside temperature is 35, it might change it to say 50. Who knows? So if it's too cold, they say bring, bring the temperature of this up first. But uh, I don't know. All I know is, is that um, it's open, it tastes good, it's a cold day, I want a coffee, and I'm going to have a drink. <laughs> Bye.